to this week's video. So I decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do a weekend reading vlog, except I'm starting it late on the weekend and it might go into early next week. So like I'm starting this at 2.30 on Saturday and my birthday is on Monday, but I have an exam on Tuesday. So I'm kind of thinking of going through to Monday slash Tuesday-ish um, for this week's vlog video. And normally when I do vlogs, it's however length of time for whatever book I am reading. But I've decided I'm just going to do a chunk of time um, and whatever books I read, which is generally what other people do. Um, but the reason I'm doing it is because I am participating in the Desertathon uh, this month, in the month of May. And so I'm kind of just... I'm finally getting back into my reading as I am almost done with exams. Um, so I want to be reading as fast as possible, but then that's not always very interesting vlog content. Um, so the first book, if you watched my Desert TBR, uh, Desertathon TBR, which will be linked down below in case you didn't watch it, the first book that I am reading for it is The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. And I actually have done quite a bit of reading of this this morning, I started it last Saturday when it was very beginning of May because there was a reading sprint happening. So I started it then, but because it's been exam week, I haven't picked it up at all since. So today I did some more reading sprints and I'm actually on page 130, which is about one third of the way through the book. And theoretically, there shouldn't be really a reason why I shouldn't finish it today other than the fact of like, I don't know if I can slash will finish it today. There are only a couple things that I need slash want to do today and they're not very time consuming. So like, I don't have a good reason not to finish it today, but I'm only a third of the way through and it's like 400 pages, which back when I was younger and like was reading all the time and didn't have near as much homework or life responsibilities, not a problem, but like nowadays, we'll see. So I'm going to start off reading this and then I'm going to keep going through my TBR for the Desertathon. Um, I am also listening to an audiobook, something else to note. I am listening to The Labyrinth Lost, which made an appearance in my um, Cinco de Mayo recommendation video that came out um, like two weeks ago now. Um, so that will also be linked up here and probably down below for you to check out. Um, and I am under halfway but like more than a third of the way through that audiobook and I am enjoying it a lot as well. I'm enjoying both books so far. I will be able to vlog me doing things while listening to it because I do film on my phone but that's also how I listen to audiobooks. Um, but I will most likely be doing a lot of listening in the car because this coming um, Sunday, tomorrow, tomorrow, we are going to go to Chicago to celebrate my birthday. Um, don't worry, we're all fully vaccinated and we are still gonna be responsible wearing masks and social distancing and whatnot. Um, but so I hopefully, it's a six hour drive, so I will hopefully be listening to my audiobook during that time, so I'll keep you updated on that as well. But for now, I'm gonna go do a couple things and then I will sit down and get some reading done, finally. I'm so excited. I'm so behind on my Goodreads goal. Like, I am incredibly behind on my Goodreads goal because I've just been so swamped with school. So I think it'll be really exciting for me to hopefully do some catching up this summer, if not getting ahead this summer, to account for what will most likely be a busy fall. So, here we go. chapter so I'm only like page 138 I've read eight pages but I'm really 
really enjoying this book. I do want to say there are some triggers for violence, kind of a little bit of gore, like death. Like they they kind of die over and over again. Um, but other than that, it's very interesting reading about the religion that they follow. There are so many lines and quotes from the infinite wisdom, that's what they refer to it as, that I sit there and I'm like, this sounds a lot like stereotypes that some people have against some religions. Like, I can see roots of extremism in their religion that are stereotypical extremisms of other religions that we actually have in our real world. So I thought it's it's been very interesting reading it in this fantastical context and coming from like someone who does believe in it and fully trusts and goes along with the religion especially when it's super oppressive towards women and she is a woman so it's very interesting to read her and how devout she is to the infinite wisdom when coming from our world we see that a it's terrible towards women and b it just sounds like it has connections to extremisms or stereotypes of other religions. So I think that's very interesting and I'm really, I mean obviously there's going to be character growth where she like no longer believes in it and defies it and is like no, women should be allowed to run and be independent of a man and blah 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 blah. Um, but that, so that's probably going to happen. I mean that's just kind of how YA goes. But I'm also really liking the found family in this. It feels I, I don't, it doesn't like necessarily feel forced, it just feels like, you know, these women are being ripped from their homes and the first people they see are the ones that they are clinging to, and I, it's very, in, I, yeah, I don't quite know if I like just how easily they came together, rather than being cautious or scared, but at the same time I understand that you want to be connected with other people who are in the same situation as you, but yeah. No, I'm enjoying The Found Family. I'm going to keep reading some more, probably after I do a couple things. But I've been doing the reading sprints for the desert a -thon, and that's what they're currently doing, so... I am enjoying it thus far. Wait, hold up. So we're doing a Veggie Tale Silly Song ranking, and we're listening to a little bit of each song as we are driving to Chicago. So, uh, the next one is the Madame Blueberry. Madam oh Blueberry. Madam Blueberry. Madam Blueberry. All right. I don't know if that one's going to qualify as a bop. No, no. it's really, it's not, not, it's not meant to I be a I think let's do Manatee. Barbara Manatee. Manatee? Yeah, let's do Barbara yeah, Manatee, let's do Barbara then Manatee. we'll go to... Uh, Blueberry. And we'll judge it not by if it's a bop, but like what it's supposed to be, you know, a sappy kind of... So we're judging them based off of if they're a bop, if fun. they're silly, kind of fun, and then what was the other one? That was it. Yeah, oh, that was it. Oh. That was it. And there's gonna be a lot of nostalgia too. Yeah. Hit. First off, I do not remember the orchestra. The orchestra. I don't, I don't remember. Love the orchestra. It's like a boss. We join them as we follow this tragic saga of Barbara Manatee into the daytime drama. Dance your soap opera. Barbara Manatee. Barbara Manatee. soap opera joke like yeah. that it's a soap opera it just completely it just seems it like was a just a silly song, song about Larry manatee. and manatee somehow the it captured my entire sense of humor as well <laughs> yeah. like the manatee lipstick yeah yeah <laughs> it's just like oh my uh, so that's probably going to be a two one yeah. are we going to have one 
They're all gonna be in the tier one. Okay, I think if we have ones that are not. I mean, even the Barber Manatee, it could be a tier two for me. True. I I just I think the instrumental and the dramatics put it up there. It is. It is. But I don't know if I really qualify it as silly. Like it's silly, but like it's not. It's a manatee. It's. But it's more it's really dramatic than silly. It's a dramatic I silly. The drama is what makes it silly. We're going after okay, you. Okay, well, everything it's is... It's a tier one. <laughs> we can walk it down if we... If we, if, we if, if by some miracle of God, <laughs> something... <laughs> Dragon. You need that coffee right about now. It's cold. <laughs> I hope it doesn't make no. it way worse. It's not good because it's hot. Mm. That one's really good. Yeah? <laughs> you look like you're about to cry. I a little bit. <laughs> I already ate the ghost pepper. <laughs> what are we at next week? <laughs> that was another two nines, two tens high card. Amy, say hi. Hello. I did a terrible hand of diamonds, okay. but I had like yeah, one club. Uh, okay. two. Video oh, what's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? YouTube? The book oh, people, community. The people of the books. The people of the books. books. The people of the books. Oh. No, they're not in the books. They're reading the books from the outside. So they are of the books. Mm. From the outside, looking in the evening. Now your husband's stripping. Demonetize, Laura. I'm not monetized in the first place. <laughs> that, that's for your Patreon. Huh? <laughs> what, Patreon? Oh, Anybody watching, like the biggest happy 21st? Yeah. 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 Yes. That's what's important here. Danny, yeah. would you like to cut even though you're walking away? No, sure no.
Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. So I'm sorry that this vlog was very like scattered. Like I didn't do any introductions before any of the clips that happened, like verbally speaking to you. And that's because I felt really like kind of self-conscious honestly filming in front of my family. Like not just, um, obviously I did film with them a little bit like you see them in the clips, but like me talking into a camera. And so, so I didn't, I didn't do a lot of filming. I really didn't do a lot of reading either because, well, I had a lot of fun on my birthday weekend. I was not expecting to read a lot physically anyway, but I didn't get to listen to my audiobook at all because I couldn't find my headphone converter for my phone and I couldn't find my Bluetooth headphones right before we left. So I, I, the only way I was going to listen to my audiobook was out loud and no one wants to sit in a car for 10 hours while I am halfway through an audiobook. Like, yeah, that's something that I did with my parents all the time. My parents would be reading a book, they'd be halfway through and we'd listen to it on a drive. But that's not something that I could do with my husband and friends who are not big readers. So I did not get any reading done this weekend. And this vlog is probably going to go up late because this is Thursday morning. <laughs> so we are back home from Chicago. I had a blast, as you could probably see and tell. I guess that was just a weekend vlog or weekend vlog that didn't really have much to do with reading. I hope you guys still somewhat enjoyed it. Um, but I promise we'll get back to some reading because now that I am done with school officially, um, I will be able to read in the mornings before I go to work. So. But yeah, so if you like, if you actually did like this video, click the thumbs up, or if you want more reading vlogs in general, you know, ones that have to do with actual reading, also give the video a thumbs up or comment down below like what kind of videos you want to see, um, or comment down below just what you're reading or a book that took you a long time to get through. I'm not, it's not that the Gilded Ones is taking me a long time because I'm not enjoying it, it's I've actually just been so busy, so hopefully I can do a lot more reading of that today. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel. I post videos every Thursday, um, and hit the bell and the notification icon so you know exactly when I post on Thursdays. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you a happy reading.